And now Dwayne Gert Bernag, uh, architect uh, in, from Bangkok, uh, and he's been doing a whole lot of hospitality work, including residential and retail stuff as well. Uh, and he recently set up, I think in 2013, his Jam Factory, uh, which is a sort of multidisciplinary space, which is his office as well as a, a shop and a library and a coffee shop and you name it. Very on trend, I would say. Um, and also an exhibition place or a, a showroom for his furniture line. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Gert Bernag. Thank you very much. All right. Don't make a judgment uh, because I'm the Asian face only one on the stage. I'm going to be a nice person. No, Bill was a nice one. Okay, I'm the worst one, actually. So I'm going to show you four projects. Don't start it yet, okay? I'm going to show you four projects. The first one is a hotel called Cross 2. They, they, they wrote it like X2 in Guibri. Um, the second one is going to be the restaurant in Samui. I show you that because I want to show you another project. But I don't have a picture of that, and that one looks kind of similar, so I show you that project. And the third one is going to be a hotel that we renovated from the prison in Luang Pambang. I think that you're quite familiar with that one. And the last one, I'm going to show you the jam factory. Okay. Actually, I have there's two projects I really want to show you. The first one is Costa Lanta, which actually I did it like 10 years ago. And I think it was one of the things that's very important that set me off in my career. You know, it's a, it's a very humble uh, shack, actually. It's just a very small bungalows, uh, one structure, which is a restaurant, and a lot of trees, and it's beautiful. But it was so old that I, I look at the picture and say, wow, this is, I have to go back and take a new picture. You know, it doesn't look like that, that great. But it's, it's was a, it is still a good hotel project, but you won't see it today. And another project that I really want to show you is a, a commercial that I've been developing right now that made everything out of bamboo, like very large structure, about 800 square meter, five building, you know, commercial area, made totally out of bamboo. We actually invented a new way, we structured the bamboo into the space frame and tied it up with a local team, you know, it's, it's amazing. But I won't show you today as well. <laughs> Is that annoying? Very. very annoying indeed. Okay, that I'm very good at, Bill. Okay, now I'm going to show you some few projects. Now you can start, turn that on. Okay, so X2 Guiburi is something, uh, you don't have to make that sound quite loud. Uh, so that's a lobby, and the tree is already there, so I, we built the, the, whole, the project around the tree, okay? So there's a lot of tree on the side, and I think we share the same uh, concept with the, you know, uh, other architects that don't cut the tree down. So instead of changing the tree, we're changing the building. So we sh make sure that all the building placement was in the composition of the tree, existing tree. And, um, and this is a restaurant structure. The previous one was a lobby. This is a restaurant structure. And um, what I can tell you about this restaurant structure is that open air. So there's no aircon. I think it's ridiculous to have an aircon on the beach. So this one doesn't have an aircon. It's completely open air. It was actually crafted really simple, you know, just floor, walls, roof, and that's it, you know. Not because I'm actually a fan of minimalism or modern, but because I'm lazy, you know. I'm, I'm very lazy. To be honest, I'm really lazy. You know, I don't want to draw things that have a lot of detailed lines. I just want to draw some few lines, got the right proportion, and that's it. You know, people think that I'm very theoretical in modernism or, you know, no, I'm just lazy, you know, I'm just draw some few lines. I think it will be working for me, just draw a few lines and, you know, I can, you know, show up your, the building. But uh, the, the trick is I just got the right proportion. So he's been through the study, okay? I study a lot on the proportion, on the model, make sure it's right. Okay, this one is good. The, the one that looks like a stone behind the room, okay? And it sits right next to the, to the swing pool, which is actually sit under the trees. Uh, I like this swing pool so much because it's actually situated under the tree, like that, okay? But, but the thing is that the, the client play with me, you know? I mean, other operators will say, yeah, you, you don't put swing pool under the tree because the leaf will fall down to the water. But I, I, I'm lucky that the client say, you know, we just get rid of the leaf, you know, just put it there. I mean, we got a great client at project, okay? So, so, th so, so that's how we got it. And, and the stone wall you saw here, it's the way that I'm trying to use a local stone. I mean, this is like local stone you can find in Guiburi in that area, okay? 
So I'm trying to use a local stone and try to make it look nice. Normally people would, you know, looking for a nice stone, but it just uh, this is ridiculously cheap stone, and I'm, uh, I'm trying to do it in a very modern conversation about it. So this is inside the room, okay? The floor is a concrete, the furniture I design, and the window frame is wood. I think that's all I can talk about it, and there's nothing much for me to talk about it. But it looks nice, isn't it? Okay. Um, so that's a stair, obviously. What else should I talk about it? Let me think. Um, I'm not quite sure it's quite sustainable. Is that sustainable, Bill? Do you think it is? Absolutely. Okay, that's great. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Sustainable. I mean, it's like survival, ecological. Yeah, ecological. Yeah. So, so that's cross two. Um, 24 room, restaurant, lobby, that's it. Very simple. And a lot of trees. So that's the first one. Maybe I just, you know, let it run through and doesn't have to talk about it, you know? It looks nice. Maybe you can turn the music on a bit and just go quiet. But anyway, this is, this is a lobby. I like the lobby. I like the tree. It's great, isn't it? I mean, it's simple, very simple. Okay, we move on to the next project. Actually, the, the next project. Ah, I have to finish. Okay, the next project is actually built before this one, and it's built right after the Cross Two project. So it has some conversation related to that project. So this is a structure of the restaurant next to the ocean in Samui on the island. And again, it's a total, completely open air structure. So I think that's, that's the idea. Um, the, the client actually screamed a little bit when I said, I'm going to do the open air structure. But it eventually proved it's working quite all right. Okay? So you have to, you know, fighting with a client, especially Thai client, when you want to do this kind of thing without the air con. Uh, but I'm succeeding in, in doing that. Okay? So most of my building, you know, at least the lobby doesn't have an air con. All right, so that's a very small project um, that I did. Yeah, a lot of rain coming through. I mean, when it's rain, you know, the floor get wet. But talking about ecological, that is how we live. You know, we just get wet sometime. Wipe the floor, no problem. You know, I, I didn't do it. Somebody do it, it's fine. So this is a hotel. In Luang Prabang, which is uh, used to be a prison. Actually, it's not a prison. It's like retention house, you know, to actually make sure all the political uh, prison doesn't escape. Um, and it's turned into a hotel. Um, there is four buildings on the side, which is an existing building, old building. And there are some other buildings that I built repetitively, the same language of what exists, okay? So you see a little bit of trace of prison, you know, this kind of window. It's, you know, this is not, it's already there, you know, it's, it's not new, it's old. And this is a part of the lobby, so let's check it out. It's a great hotel. And, um, and this is another structure which is already exists on the house. I put the swimming pool in, um, and just in front of that, so just for the sake of the reflection of the building. Um, but it, you can swim in that too, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you can swim in that too. So that's a swimming, swimming pool. Um, that's it. Um, that, that, the, the building you saw behind that is the old, is a new building that I designed uh, and built in, in, in the proportion of the old building. So it looks like old, but it's a new building. It, it, we spend a lot of time study uh, Laos architecture, which is quite totally different from Thai architecture, and make sure that we got all the vocabulary right. This is the interior. We designed the interior as well, and it looks completely different. You know, we took the bed design from the Queen's bedroom in the museum. We just go walk in and out of the museum and make a sketch and come out, make a sketch and come out like five times because they don't allow us to sketch in the museum. In Luang Prabang, I don't know why. So we have to go in and out and make a sketch and coming out. So at least we can copy finally the Queen's bedroom. Okay, so so we, we copy that and and the wall actually behind it that you just saw is a pattern of a fabric that we use the color of the city and put it into you know stripe like possum color stripe. Okay, but the, the tone and the color is came from the city. 
and this is a new uh, room as well. Um, and we have the swing pool behind that. This is all the interpretation of the interior design that we did for that project. That's uh, obviously a bathroom. When you're the one that I've kept closest. And this is also another uh, old structure, uh, existing structure on the site, and we convert into the restaurant and bar. So uh, the, the building is actually very narrow, so we have to actually play with a lot of elements for the interior design to make it look larger. Okay, and it's uh, it's tend to be this is well, we we like I like that brick wall, uh, but it's made all of copper e eventually. Um, all right. Um, so that's a view from that of that building. Uh, there is an uh, another uh, extension to that hotel which is uh, built, we built every single one of these buildings from, 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 from nothing, you know, from, it, it's newly designed and built. But, but what we did is that we're trying to actually understand Laotian architecture and turn it into uh, a, a new building. So it's a replica of the Laos architecture, which obviously is not Thai architecture. Uh, so we spent a lot of time studying that. So it became a spa and a restaurant structure. The picture was taken on the you know, day of the opening of some sort, so there is no people in that. And this is the inside of the spa room, uh, the spa bathroom, the restaurant. Okay, and the next project I'm going to show you is the Jam Factory. Uh, it's not a hotel, but I think it's worthwhile for us to talk about as a sustainability aspect, no matter how you describe it. But it's, a, it's, a, it's an old factory that we converted into so many things, like my, o my own office, uh, the restaurant, the gallery, the coffee shop. Okay. I think um, I think it's very important in, in Bangkok that you know I, I create this kind of conversation that you it is an insignificant structure like an old factory there's no nothing meaning attached to it but we converted that into uh, a new things and and it became something that make a, a huge statement in the city that you know you don't have to uh, people start looking at the factory, the existing structure of a factory in a different way. So I think that, that is something that we, we kind of proud of that conversation. Okay? So all, all the structure, this is my own office, and the structure you saw is an existing wood structure of the roof. We changed a little bit of the roof cladding to, to become a new material. I put the floors in, but the column, the, the roof structure, is something that already exists. And, and I, I, I'm happy to live with the imperfection of it. Uh, that's my desk, Bill. You like that view? I have a view to that tree. That's very good. You shouldn't speak Thai in this. Nobody will understand it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so that's my desk. And that's my office. Okay. So, um, and that's a meeting room. Actually, if you actually see the reality of it, it's it's just some few things that we put in, you know, other than necessary, we won't put it there. So it's a very clear way of thinking how you can approach a sen sustainability by, by actually putting only few things into that. Okay? That is very critical for me for, to show you on my position of sustainability. Um, so there's a tree there and I kept that tree. Uh, surprisingly, before I came to the site, you know, the, this area became like a, a cluster of, of, of houses that people don't see the tree. When I, I, I removed some of the structure and put a glass, a, a grass lawn in, uh, they see the tree and uh, the, the landowner was surprised by that. This is a gallery. The gallery is totally reconstructed uh, by the footprint of the old building. And we use all the wood left on the site uh, and put up the, the structure, so there is no new wood. It's just an old wood that was left on the side and built that. 
and this is uh, uh, part of the another area which is a uh, coffee shop and the bookstore now we come to the final part of the show which is a restaurant okay the restaurant also uh, renovated from the old ice factory where they produce ice okay and uh, and and I converted into a, a restaurant uh, uh, by simply put the chair and the tables in with, with a new floor of polish okay the roof structure is is already there um, and, and 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 it became very interesting space so I think the conversation I'm trying to make here is that sometimes design is best achieved without designing. <laughs> I, I didn't decide that much. I just dancing with it, with the context that I have, and 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 not as an architect per se, not as a designer per se, but it's just a dance, and you embrace the context around you. And try to dance with it. So this is a very important reason for that. Now, well, I, we will have further conversation about sustainability in a panel discussion. But this is my way of looking at things as a possibility of how we can live ecologically. No, without much of trying to achieve something, but just trying to understand things that exist, trying to live with it, dance with it. And embrace it. I think that's the whole bigger picture, rather than you know pay attention to the solar cell or you know sun shading device. This is something real for people, at least for this part of the world. So I just want to throw the idea of that into your mind before we have a discussion. But that's this few example. Precisely 14 minutes. Thank you so much.